Here's the solution to my practice quiz on factoring polynomials, and you guys can download the file on my Patreon. The link will be in the description. We have a total of five questions, and make sure you guys time yourself 20 minutes when you try the questions. For the first one, we have 2x squared minus x minus 15. This is a quadratic trinomial. We factor this by the tic-tac-toe. And then we ask ourselves, what times 12 give us 2x squared? Well, 2x and x. Now for the negative 15, we may have to try a little bit, right? Like 3, negative 5, and then it depends on where you put the numbers as well. I will tell you the correct numbers that we are going to use is negative 3 and positive 5. And we are going to put positive 5 here and negative 3 here. Because 2x times negative 3 gives us negative 6. 5 times x gives us 5x. Together, we do end up with negative x, so it checks. Then we can see the answer for this is just 2x plus 5. Make sure you go across when you write down the answer. And then the other factor is x minus 3. And then we are done. Now for number 2, we have x to the fourth power minus 81. So we have two terms, and they don't have common factors. We notice that this is the difference of two squares when we look at it like this. x to the fourth power, look at it as something squared, and then the 81 also look at it as something squared. Can we do this? Yes, because x to the fourth power is x squared and then squared. 81 is the same as 9 squared. Now, let me remind you guys the formula for factoring a difference of two squares. That is a squared minus b squared gives us a minus b times a plus b. And then we use the formula. We are going to get this is the a, this is the b. So first we have x squared minus 9, and then we multiply by this plus that. Okay, are we done? No. This right here can be further factored because you can look at this as x squared and the 9 is the same as 3 squared. So really, the first part is x minus 3 times x plus 3. We can use this formula to factor this right here again. How about for this right here though? Well, x squared plus 9, a sum of 2 squares, it's not factorable with real numbers. So if you're just dealing with real numbers, you can just keep it. And we are just going to keep it for this video, for this quiz. That's it. Sometimes you have to pay attention to the direction. If you have to use imaginary number to factor it, then you will continue. But that will be for later on. So just in case, if you would like to see, this right here can be factored as 3x minus 3i times x plus 3i. But that will be for later, so don't have to worry about this yet. Now, number 3. It kind of looks similar to number 2, right? But here, we have x to the fourth power minus 81x squared. Because we have this x squared, we can actually factor our common factor. That is, we can first take out x squared, because this has x to the fourth power, right? So, when we take this, we took out two of the x's, right, x squared, so we will have x squared left. You can also think about this as x to the fourth power divided by x squared, and we still get x squared. This right here, we took that out already, so we have minus 81. This is x squared. This is a difference of two squares, x squared minus 9 squared, so we can factor this right here and get x minus 9 times x plus 9. Just kidding. Plus 9. And then we're done. Number 4. Notice we have 4 terms. So to factor this, we are going to do it by grouping the first two and then the last two. And make sure you draw out the lines. Do not put on parentheses right here. It changes everything if you just add a parenthesis here. Because you have to distribute the negative. That's not correct. So on the lines, on the lines. So right here, x to a third minus 5x squared, we can take out x squared. 
and then we will get x minus 5. Now for these right here, it's a little bit trickier. Here we have a minus. Whatever this sign is, go ahead and write it down. It's a minus, just write it down. Now look at the numbers. 4 and 20, we can factor out a common number 4, right? So what we are really factoring out is negative 4. Be really careful with that. Now we are going to put down parentheses. Originally, this term is negative 4x. We took out negative 4. Just that thing about it as negative 4x divided by negative 4, we get x. Next, 20 divided by negative 4, we actually get negative 5. So this is indeed the same as that. Now, factor out the x minus 5, put it right here. And then this and that, we can put it as x squared minus 4. And what can we do? Yes, difference of two squares once again. So this is x minus 5. This is x squared minus 2 squared. So we get x minus 2 times x plus 2. And then we are done. Just like that. Now the last one, we have x cubed plus 1,000. Hey, this is a sum and then we have two terms. Can we factor it? Yes, because this right here is actually a sum of two cubes and that is actually factorable. We have seen that from the previous question that sum of two squares is not factorable with zero numbers, but this is possible. Let me show you. Firstly though, we look at this as just x to the third power plus the 1000 is what to the third power? The answer for that is 10, right? Three zeros, so we have 10 to the third power. Now, we are going to remember our formula for factoring a sum of two cubes. And that is a cube plus b cube is equal to a plus b times a squared minus a b and then plus b squared. This right here, do not continue, just keep it like that. And that's why the formula stops right here. This is not factorable. So a is the x, b is the 10. So first we have a plus b, so it's x plus 10. Continue, we have a squared, so that's x squared. And then minus a b, so that's a times b, right, x times 10, which is just 10x. And lastly, we have to add b squared. So we put plus 10 squared is 100. So I'm just going to write down 100 here. And note, this is because 10 squared. And then we are done. Just like this. Let me know how many questions did you get right. That's it.